a climactic night at the great estate of Collinwood, a night in which time is of the greatest importance. To save Amanda Harris from her meeting with death, Grant Douglas must regain his memory, and so two women take him to an art professor's workshop in a last desperate effort to break through his amnesia. I asked Professor Osmond to let, let us look at the painting alone. I should be getting used to you dragging me into strange rooms. What is it this time, Doctor? This is a portrait of Quentin Collins, painted by Charles Delaware Tate. <laughs> Another attempt to prove that I'm 100 years old, huh? And you take it as seriously as she does. Oh, yes. Why? Have you seen this portrait, Doctor? Does it look exactly like me? No, I haven't seen it yet. Professor Osmond had to remove a landscape which was painted over the portrait. He's transferred that to another canvas. Ah, I see. Well, two tates for one. Mm, commercially not a bad deal. And I'm supposed to stare at it and suddenly say, I'm Quentin Collins. It all comes back to me now. This is insane. Oh, it's not. Believe me. Now look, my lady, what secret do you know? Both of you. Well, now, come on, there must be one or you're both crazy. You know, I should walk right out of this room and out of this house. No, please. Please. You, you must look at the portrait and let it affect you whatever way it does. You know how vitally important it is to all of us that you regain your memory. It would seem to concern no one but me, Doctor. You're wrong, Grant. You're very wrong. You must try to clear your mind of anger and try to be a, as responsive as you can. <laughs> All right, Doctor. Surely you know why that face looks the way it does. Do you remember? I remember nothing. Look at it again. No. You must look at it again. No! That face. That face. Is that how Quentin would have looked if it were not for the portrait? And I, would I look like that, too, if it were not for Mr. Best? Oh, what difference does it make? Why did I run? He'll remember me now. He must. He'll remember he is Quentin. I must go back. No! Ah, Miss Harris. Oh, you, you can't come for me now. Did you forget? You have an appointment with me tonight? No, not yet. Oh, am I early? It would be most unlikely. I have five more minutes. Indeed. You must give them to me. I wouldn't cheat you. Not if you were right. But there's something I must do. <laughs> there always is, isn't there? Ah, yes. Even when we should perhaps be composing ourselves, we keep on worrying about the little everyday things. He may have remembered. Wishful thinking, Miss Harris. No, no. I left him before I knew. Really? I find mortals most difficult to understand. You must let me go back to him. Miss Harris, I promised myself never to be moved by you again. 
You were once very kind to me. Don't make me regret it. All I ask is to walk in that room and see him. And see if he knows. Oh, you must. You must let me find out. You must! If it means nothing to you, then surely you can look at it. No. Are you that afraid? All right, Doctor. You're afraid to be alone with Quentin Collins, Doctor? Quentin? Yes. I remember the day that portrait was painted. Oh, yes, I remember. Yes, I may have forgotten my life, but that portrait hasn't. as I truly am, Doctor. Every slight, every act of cruelty I ever committed is written into that face. Every cheat, every lie, every sin, every trick. And yet you can still look at me. Yes. Now, that's what I called you when we first met. When I brought Amanda. Olivia. She is Amanda Harris. Where'd she go? I don't know. I am sorry, my dear. Truly sorry. But you've asked me to break the rules too often, I'm afraid. Oh, but... Come. No, not yet. Please, not yet. But it should not be unpleasant. Let me assure you of that. I'll never see him again. Perhaps you will. You're just saying that, so I'll come with you. You mustn't try to understand all I say. My mind is much more complex than yours. Or anyone's, for that matter. I pride myself on that. Oh, just, just one moment with him, please. Just one moment. She saw this. Quentin, do you still love Amanda? I have always loved her. Then you must find her and tell her, or... Or what? Or what? Tell me. I, I can't explain, but a stranger will come for her. A stranger will come and take her away forever. Unless you can find her and, and tell, tell her that you love her, she will die tonight. outside once more. I'm afraid one can never leave by this door. Only enter. It's over. Oh, well, not quite. Look around you. Isn't it pleasant? 
How I'm maligned. This is... This is what death is? Only the first stage. This is simply a passing through place. My little hotel. When am I going to leave this place? That depends. On what? My whim. But you will be most comfortable. I shall see to that. And now, my dear, you must excuse me. I have others to meet. No, don't leave me. But I must. No, no. Are you so afraid that you think even death a good companion? I'm flattered. It's been so long since anyone begged me to stay. But I must not give in to human emotions. Miss Harris. Getting out of here. Not by that door, anyway. Is there another way? Would you believe me if I said yes? <laughs> I don't know. Look, look. I'll give you, I'll give you this. It's very valuable. What good's that to me? Remember you? You were here 70, 80 years ago. Yes. He brought you here from the river. Then he let you go. You're one of the lucky ones, you are. I never had your luck. I'm supposed to show you to your room. That's what I'm here for. Don't cry. I don't even like to remember crying. Funny the things you remember. The things you can't even do anymore. Well, are you ready now? give you a nice room. She's gone. I'll never see her again. Quentin. To think I'd found her and didn't even know it. Well, why didn't you tell me who she was? Would it have helped if I told you when you didn't know who you were? I, I guess it wouldn't, would it? You know, she asked me if I could love her. Just today. If I could say I loved her. If I'd have said it. Would that have saved her? Try, try not to think about it. I never think of anything else. There are many things that you have to think about. I, I don't mean to sound callous. I don't feel at all callous, but you've got to start thinking will about... Will you stop it? Stop telling me what to do, will you? Now get out of here and leave me alone. There's only one person I want to see. Now get out. All right, I'll leave now. 
I will be back. Yes, I will be with you yet. You will give me that, please. Who are you? My name is Best, and it is not your time. My time? To die. It was hers, yes, it's true. Amanda's. So you're Quentin. Oh, you took her from me. Don't. <laughs> I am impervious to attack. You are not. You'll give her back to me. So you do love her. How interesting. Bring her back. Let me tell her that I love her. And lose her myself. She's had her chance. All right, all right. Give me my chance. Make a wager with me. You would wager with me? Yes. You live by courtesy of Count Potoffi. I know that. But even in my realm, there are arrangements that can be made. Well, then make one for me. I was ready to join her. You know that. And you would stay with her? If I have to, to be with Amanda. Oh, please, bring her to me. Let me take her away. I love her like no other woman's ever been loved. I wonder. I like experiments, you know. You two, lovers lost separated by half a century, and yet both still young. Interesting. Most interesting. Will you do it? Will you? Miss Amanda Aris. Well, how do you like it? Where is she? Charming, isn't it? Not what you expected. Am I going to have to stay here forever? Unless you can get out, Miss Collins. No dragons, no guards. The door simply will not open for anyone but me. You said that you would bring her here so that I could take her away. You don't think of yourself, do you? I like that. Look, over there. That is the way out. It's seldom used. But my life is generally quite dull, and every now and then I like to amuse myself by giving someone who impresses me a chance to escape. It takes courage. You have that. It also takes cunning. That remains to be seen. What's out there? Well, you will have to find that out, won't you? If you want to leave. You, Miss Harris. It's a trap. <laughs> no, it's not one trap. It's many traps. Many. My dear fellow, I've been a fool if that isn't true. <laughs> you want to try? With Amanda. Yes. Good. Before. Before she comes, may I give you one, one word of advice? If you touch her, if she touches you, she is lost to you forever. If both of you reach the outside world, and you can, though you'll think not, but if you do, you will be together for eternity, whatever that means. But if you touch her, she is lost. And if you lose your way, you will be too. 
Do you understand? Yes. Good. There are two candles. Your only weapons. Sometimes I think I'm too compassionate. But that's the way I am. Good luck, Mr. Collins. Thank <laughs> you. 